Hello and welcome back to the channel. I'm in Joliet, Illinois at the western trailhead of the Old Plank Road Trail, a rail to trail top 10 for Illinois. Let me show you what this trail is all about. Forty plus miles of this trail today. Are we ready? Let's go. The Old Plank Road Trail is an uninterrupted paved trail about 22 miles in length. This trail has a long history. It was part of a Native American route around Lake Michigan and later used by fur trappers. Despite its name, it was never a plank road. When this route was acquired by business interests in the early 1800s, it was intended to be a plank road, but it was decided to be better suited for a railroad. In the 1950s, the old Michigan Central Railroad used this route for a line that ran from East Gary, Indiana to Joliet. It was converted to a recreational trail between 1992 and 2006. The trail has since been extended about one and a half miles east of its original eastern end to connect it to the Sauk Trail Forest Preserves. But I will be ending this ride at the original mile marker zero. This trail starts out as a cathedral of trees, which offers protection from the sun and wind, but little in the way of scenery. Another feature of this trail is its numerous road crossings, 31 in total. And many of them are blind crossings where you can't see cross traffic until you're right up on the road. This is a momentum killer on a long ride. As the trail enters New Lenox, it turns southeast. About three miles in, it crosses over Interstate 80, where there is a break in the trees, but that break is short-lived. Four miles in to the north of the trail is a bike station courtesy of the new Lenox Park District. Just after that, the trail jogs across West Haven Avenue. I missed it. Around eight and a half miles in is the junction to the Hickory Creek Bikeway, a four mile scenic there and back that winds through the Hickory Creek Forest Preserve. At this point, the canopy opens a bit and it feels much less claustrophobic. This trail is in serious need of resurfacing. It's not necessarily broken up, just a plethora of cracks that look harmless but will rattle the fillings from your teeth over time. Many are also hidden in the shadows of the tree cover. They were so bad that my phone mount snapped nine miles into the ride. Damn it. Well, if this is any indication of how bumpy this trail is, my phone mount just snapped right off. Just about the halfway point is Elsner Road. With parking to the north, it's the perfect place to start a half ride if you don't want to do the full trail. Morning or afternoon. This bridge over LaGrange Road, just west of downtown Frankfurt, is of a unique design and it's very visually interesting.
The trail then goes right through downtown Frankfurt. It is a beautiful area filled with unique local shops and eateries. I happened to pass through during the weekly farmer's market and it was very crowded. Not sure if I was supposed to be walking my bike through here. I didn't see any signs saying to do so. So don't judge. No worries. After Frankfurt, it's back to tree cover, with some occasional breaks. From west to east, this trail has been majority uphill, with about 230 feet in elevation gain. Not significant enough to dictate which is the easier direction to ride this trail. All right, 14 mile update. We're back in a cathedral of trees. Ridgeland Avenue. Good afternoon. Hey, what's up, how you doing? How you doing? 16 miles in is the first time you truly feel like you're out in nature. Even though the majority of the trail has been tree-lined, if you glimpse through the trees, you'll see human development. This was the most scenic portion of the trail. But that scenery is short-lived, and as the trail continues east out of Matson, you know you're riding through the suburbs. Oh, there's some remnants of when this was a railroad. Western Avenue brings us to mile marker zero of the old Plank Road Trail and the end of this video. I didn't want to add three more miles of bumps to my day. Mile zero. Final thoughts? The trail has some really nice sections and the people on this trail are really friendly. Everybody waves and says hi. But for me, too many road crossings and way too many bumps. But I would definitely consider a half ride from the West End to Frankfurt maybe hang around downtown Frankfurt for a bit, and then head back. Hey, if you enjoyed this video, please do me a favor and hit the thumbs up. If you'd like to see other trails around the Chicago area, hit the subscribe button. And let me know in the comments if you have a favorite trail that you'd like for me to check out. Until next time, thanks for watching, and keep biking.